In this section, we are going to talk about scripted pipeline versus declarative pipeline. So first of all, we need to understand what is pipeline. So pipeline is nothing but a sequence or steps that are linked with each other and those are going to get executed in a sequential manner and they are linked with each other. So one by one, all of them will get executed or one by one, they will run. So pipeline is nothing but a collection of steps or jobs which are interlinked with one another in a sequence. Jenkins support different plugins which help to implement continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline into Jenkins. We have already seen DSL plugin which we use to create jobs using a DSL language. A CI CD pipeline is automated way of getting source code version control system to the users via different stations such as version control system, code inspection, test cases execution, build, artifact creation, artifact repository, deployment on server. So with CI CD pipeline, we can do all these things like we can do code inspection, we can run test cases, we can deploy on testing server, we can deploy on staging server, we can create artifacts. So we can do all these kind of tasks by creating a CI CD pipeline. So a pipeline can be written using two kind of syntax. One of them is declarative and another one is scripted one. So let's understand what is a scripted pipeline. A scripted pipeline is an old kind of syntax which is based on groovy language. Scripted pipelines provide a lot of flexibility and control over the workflow but it can be more complex and verbose than declarative pipeline. That means scripted is a bit old fashioned way of writing your job as code although it provides a lot of flexibility but it can be more complex. It is particularly useful when you have complex build and deployment requirement or when you have a complex logic within your pipeline. So scripted pipeline strongly uses Groovy based syntax. So this is how the scripted pipeline syntax look like. You have node that means the job will run on a Jenkins node and there will be certain stages. One stage could be built which can perform some operation and here in this case we are simply doing a echo with string build and then there could be another stage called test which will do testing and here in this case we are simply echoing build this is just a syntax and then there could be another stage called deploy which can perform more operation of deployment let us go ahead and create a scripted pipeline job let's go to our jenkins dashboard and here click on manage jenkins click on new item and here give it a name scripted pipeline and it is going to be of pipeline type click on ok and then we are going to provide a pipeline script here i'm going to copy it from one of the sample that i already have this is the same kind of code which i just explained to you it has stage build test and deploy and right now it's doing nothing just echoing a message so let's go ahead and copy this one and paste it here and click on save now we can simply click on build now and as you can see it has started building now you can see it has three stages one is build another one is test and the third one is deployed the build one took 43 milliseconds the test stays 26 millisecond and deploy took 28 millisecond so it is executing one by one we can go to the console output and as you can see here all of these are sequential it is building testing and then deploying so we have seen what is scripted pipeline now we are going to see declarative pipeline so declarative pipeline is a new approach it is a recent addition and it provides a simpler way of creating a pipeline and it is more structured the code is simplified but declarative way is a bit limited that means you cannot just put code somewhere in between the pipeline so this is not ideal when you have a complex logic to your build. This is how the syntax of a declarative pipeline looks like. So you need to write pipeline at the very first place and then you need to specify the agent on which you want to run this. So right now as mentioned here it is any that means this particular pipeline can run on any available agent. And then you have certain options like if you want to time out this build you can specify the timeout using time and unit in hours 
and then you have environment where you can specify what kind of java environment you want to have so here in this case i have java equals to java 8 and after that you can have stages and this stages part looks similar to what we have seen in scripted but you know the syntax is a bit different here so we have stage build test and deploy and as you can see within stage we are having steps here which are again sequential steps that are part of a particular stage and as you can see the third stage which is deploy here what we are saying we have specified a condition maybe when branch is production we want to deploy so this is a basic syntax of declarative pipeline let's go ahead now and see the demo in action so here i am on the my jenkins dashboard click on new item and here we need to enter a name so i'm just going to give it a name declarative pipeline and then select pipeline click ok and here in the pipeline script part i'm going to copy this script from my vs code this is the pipeline we have and which is doing nothing but it is simply doing an echo of the name of the stage which is currently running so i'm simply saying echo building echo testing echo deploying so let's go ahead and copy this and put it here and then save this and click on build now and as you can see it is successful so it looks similar you can see like it has the same kind of stages as of now you can go to console output and as you can see it is doing all those stages building testing and deploying so far we have seen what type of pipeline now let's discuss the difference between these two so scripted versus declarative pipeline very first thing is pipeline code validation at startup so in scripted pipeline code validation happens during pipeline execution errors or issue in the script may only be found when the pipeline runs if you have written a code and you are just running it then only you will come to know okay some semicolon is missing or there is some syntax issue you will not come to know before running it whereas there are certain languages which compiles first and you can come to know okay my syntax has certain problems so you are not actually running it and the compiler can tell you you have syntax issues so that you can fix so in scripted pipeline you are not going to find the issues in syntax before running the pipeline so this is an old way of doing this so it is similar to checking for mistakes in a recipe while cooking the dish so you cannot know if the taste of the dish is good unless it is already cooked whereas in declarative pipeline code validation happens when the pipeline is loaded into jenkins as soon as the code is getting loaded into jenkins it will tell you like you have syntax issues so please fix it so issues are being identified before running the pipeline so as we took the example of dish so here in this case we are going to take the same example and it is like you are asking someone to look into your recipe and identify mistakes if you are missing out on some ingredients or is it all good so let's see this difference in actual demo here I am on Jenkins dashboard go to scripted pipeline and click on configure I'm just going to make an edit to my code so I'm just going to omit this echo part and leave it without any argument so I'm simply writing echo command but there is no argument to it let's save this and click on build now and as you can see it has run the build step has run successfully and the test stage has failed where I have omitted the argument part so in scripted pipeline we only came to know the syntax was wrong when it actually reached to this step let's go to dashboard and go to declarative pipeline and let's try to configure it go to the code and here again i'm going to omit this argument here as well and simply click on save and build now build is scheduled and as you can see it has got an error and as you can see here the build number two none of them are green or red that means the build has run but none of the step or stages in between has run so it has not run this at all let's go to console output and see what it has done okay so before running it it has shown us like there is a syntax issue it is expecting something at line number 13 and this is the error 
So before actually running the pipeline, it has identified there is sudden mistake and it has informed us through the console output. So this is the first difference. Second difference is restart from stage. Scripted pipeline restart from a specific stage is not directly supported. So in scripted pipeline, if particular stage has failed, then restarting the job again from that particular stage is not directly supported. So restarting requires to run the whole pipeline right from the beginning. This way you will end up having more build time because it is starting from start and suppose there are 10 steps and it has failed on the ninth one and you just want to restart the whole build from ninth step rather than going from the first one. So in that case you are again going to first one and it will build all the stages. It will take some time. So in this way it is eating up a lot of time. In declarative pipeline restarting from a specific stage is supported. Only stages after the specified stage need to be executed. So this way you are saving time. If you are failing at the ninth step you don't need to run all the steps right from 1 to 8. You can just restart it from the ninth stage. So this way you are saving a lot of time. So let's jump into the demo. Here I am on declarative pipeline page. I'm just going to configure it. And here I'll just put back the argument which I deleted in the previous one. And then click on save. And then click on build now. So as you can see all of these stages has passed. Let's go to console output. And you see an option restart from stage. Click on this and here you can select a particular stage from where you want to start the build. So if I want to restart it from the test part, I can simply select the test one and click on run. So as you can see, the fourth build has started from the test part. It has then gone to deploy part. It has skipped the build part. So this way starting from a particular stage is supported in declarative but not in the scripted. In scripted pipeline, you will not find this option anywhere. So this is a limitation of scripted pipeline. Now we will talk about the third difference that is skipping stage. In scripted pipeline, no built-in support for skipping a stage. That means you cannot skip a stage. All stages will be executed sequentially. Whereas in declarative pipeline, you can skip a particular stage using a when directive. So it allows conditional skipping of stages based on specific conditions. Let's see this in action. Go to declarative pipeline page and here click on configure. For this I have the specific code which I'm going to copy it from here and update the script here. So as you can see in the stage test I have put a condition with a directive called when and I'm saying when environment name is foo and value is bar then run this step where I'm doing eco testing. So the test stage will only be executed when the environment name is foo and value is bar. Let's save this one and then go to dashboard click on manage Jenkins and we will go to system because we need to add that environment variable which we have just introduced in the pipeline script. So I'm going to create that variable. So let's go to system. And here I have an environment variable called foo and the value bar. Click on save and then go to declarative pipeline and click on configure. So here we are and I have updated the code here. I will remove this extra R here and click on save. Click on build now. So as you can see it has skipped the test stage because I have kept an extra R in the value. So the environment variable foo doesn't have the value as expected. The value should be B-A-R-R and in the environment variable we have saved it as B-A-R. So which is why this condition is not met and it was able to skip the test stage. Now we will fix this and we are going to run this again. So click on configure. Let's go to console output. And as you can see the test is skipped because of when condition. Now the question is which one you should choose. So scripted pipeline is well suited for complex build and deployment workflow that required advanced scripting logic. 
and it may require more effort to maintain and update the pipeline as the complexity increases over time and in declarative it is simple it support version control of pipeline code making it easier to track changes of the code and it facilitates better pipeline scalability and readability especially for large and complex project